Newly released court documents show police in Toronto investigating the disappearances of three men from Toronto's gay village explored the possibility that their main suspect had killed and cannibalized Skandaraj Naratnam with the help of notorious killer Luca Magnata. Magnata was kid convicted in the kidnapping and dismemberment of a Chinese student in Montreal. Serial killer Bruce MacArthur was eventually convicted of murdering Navaratnam. The CBC's John Lancaster is here to tell us more about the investigation. So, John, there was a tip. Where did it come from and how did police pursue the lead? Sure, Andrew. Well, all of this is detailed uh, in some several hundreds of pages of court documents police use to uh, get search warrants. Uh, and what we now know is that uh, for about two years, starting in 2012, when Toronto police started something called Project Houston, they had a suspect in mind, and they thought that suspect may have been aided in Mr. Navaratnam's death by Luca Magnata, who, as we said, uh, was at that time in 2012 uh, suspected of killing uh, the Chinese international student and mailing parts of his uh, remains to various politicians and schools. Well, to, uh, for two years almost, Andrew, Toronto police went down that rabbit hole uh, until they finally realized it was likely a dead end. So what was the outcome of the investigation? Well, they cleared both Magnata and their local suspect. But what's interesting is during this same time, they had also interviewed Bruce MacArthur. Uh, and in fact, police knew that MacArthur had ties to three of the missing men uh, from the Toronto's gay village. Uh, they even interviewed MacArthur, but they, at the end of that decided he probably wasn't a suspect and eventually let him go. We now know, of course, uh, it wasn't until 2017 when MacArthur became prime suspect number one for not just those three murders, but eight murders in February of this year, MacArthur pleaded guilty to those eight counts of first-degree murder, Andrew, and as we now know, he's serving a life sentence. John, thank you. The CBC's John Lancaster.